Okay. So here we are. I don't know if anyone is here besides myself, so I will be talking to myself for a bit. We vibin', we shadin'. Uh, if you're watching the, uh, the video of this, like, after it's streamed, hello. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure all the, uh, layers on this can be merged down. So... Mm, we'll keep the pops up just in case. What is this layer? I don't know, but I'm merging it down. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, that's eye and stuff. I'm gonna edit this eye a bit. This is a commission for a friend of mine. Um, they wanted a YouTube icon and they can't draw, so I told them I could draw. And here we are. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm basing it off of this image. It's awful quality, but this is what they sent me. Um, so... Yes? Hi. Hi. What are you making? I'm just shading some art. My friends are gonna be on with me in a minute. Try this pair. I can't tell if it's quite ready, or just not enough yet. Not ready yet? No. Um, I'll finish it. You finish that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just a little too too hard, huh? Yeah. I'm having some ideas, Grace. Some ideas. Mm -hmm. About some things that maybe you, you and I can do. Alright. I'm gonna take a course in surface design. Adobe's. You make all these cute little things and stuff. I'm wondering if once I get my business going, if I can contact you <laughs> and use some of your illustrations and try to, if you're interested, you know, sell them. Not necessarily your character type things, but license them and sell them to be used on you know, different types of products and yeah. Fabrics and things. And I would pay you like 75% and I could keep 25. Dang. <laughs> Anything to get money. Well, I'm just thinking, you know. I mean, I... My patterns would obviously be for a different audience, but I feel like a lot of the stuff you make is super popular and would sell really well. Yeah. So if I start this up, it's also a another business you could be a part of, but you wouldn't necessarily have. So I just want to be creative and stay at home. Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my mother. I couldn't find the button to mute my mic. Minecraft music. Hello. Fancy, fancy seeing you here.
Thanks! I have not been sharing art whips on the Discord server recently, but I have been doing art and this is one of them. It's an icon for a friend of mine. For his YouTube channel. make more arts again yes but only if you feel up to it because I know your your wrist is sometimes mean to you but I do love your arts very much so goodness why is it just playing the creepy music I don't want the creepy minecraft music I want the chill vibes no that's an ad stop it I'm okay, I'm not struggling. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, ten yeah. My mind just went blank. I apologize. I was gonna say something else, but then I was just like doing a think. reason when I zoom out with this canvas size it makes all the line art look like chunky but it's not actually so I don't know what's going on there but it doesn't look like that in the final version so what the heck hold on I gotta shade the eyes I forgot to do that because I do a new eye shading thing now so Yeah, it is. It, it's done that before. It does that on my new computer and my laptop, so... I don't know. Again, it looks fine in the end, so what the heck. Let's change the hue. I want it to be orange. There we go. Okay. I have not shaded a human in a long time, so... Let's see. The ads strike me once more. One day I will download all the Minecraft music and play without ads, but I'm too lazy to do that for the time being, so...
Okay. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if I'm a good tutorial because I literally... My shading style changes up every time I do it. So... I'm not the best person. Ah! Did not mean to do that. All right. But if you are interested in learning how I shade, I do two layers for shading, two layers for highlights, and then a final layer for like extra shinies. Because I've realized that people like it when my art is shiny. So, um, but I do one that's like the main shadows. I guess I don't even know what it's called. And then I do one that's, like, softer. Um, and then the same for highlights. So, this, this, what I do. Alright, this is actually not going to be just white shading because of the reference image they gave me. The shading is like yellow and orange, so I will replicate that. <laughs> the typo you did is very funny to me for some reason. <laughs> I know Newt said that they might show up, but they were getting food, so. For some reason, I've been super excited to shade this popsicle. Just because, I don't know, I haven't sh like shaded something like that in a long time and look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, how do I want to shade this hair? Because it's not like normal human hair. His hair is fluffy and I don't know how to shade fluffy hair without make it making it look like fur. Shading slightly opaque food sounds so fun, not gonna lie. Yes! Like, it- it looks- it- I don't know, it just looks really good when I look at it. I'm like, ooh. There's something, when I look up shading, there's something about, like, reflective light. Oh my gosh! I was talking! Anyways. Every time I look up shading, there's something about reflective light, and I'm not entirely sure how it works. But it just means, like, adding highlights back there, so that's what I'll do. I'll make it look a little fancy. It's really up to get you today. I know, they're more aggressive than usual. I don't know what I did to upset them. Hello! Oh! 
Hello, Vanilla Rain. I have not seen you in a hot minute. It's been a while. I am just currently shading a commission for my friend. Alright, how the heck do I want to do this? I've been doing good! How... how's... your life? In fact, how's anyone's life? I'm not sure if there's anyone else watching the stream, but... How are people doing? Engaging with my audience, you know? <laughs> Do I shade hair? How do I do that? I have these hair highlight brushes. Um, so like I have that one. I have this one. This one. And there's this one. And I generally use the first two. been doing good oh <laughs> yeah I hope you feel better soon summer that's I know that's rough dental surgery but at least you won't ever have to deal with those dang teeth again <laughs> this is such a mood yes uh, that looks fine I'll use this one Do I want to do it? Yeah. Shading hair. So true. Oops. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. <laughs> Good enough for me. And then I just soft shade the bottom and the corner. There we go. Do I do it anymore though? Maybe, like, a little bit back here? Again, I have never shaded fluffy hair like this before. I've only shaded long hair. So... I'm a struggling. I'm gonna blur it a bit too. Just really achieve that soft shade feel. That looks good to me, to be honest. It looks cool. All right. A little more shading on the popsicle. I know. I I know the mic probably picks up when I click my undo button, and I'm sorry, but it's right. I can't change it. Going to add another layer for all the fancy schmancy other highlights. Not black. What did I do? That's subtract. I want to add. <laughs> shiny popsicle, yes! <laughs> yes. 
so shiny. <laughs> Good, good shading. You're doing what I want you to. <laughs> I just add a little bit of highlight on the cheekbone. Nice. It's a little bit there. I'm actually going to add another shading layer. Make it do that sort of more on the back of the head. What have I been up to recently? I've actually been super busy recently. I had a convention to get ready for, and before that I had a week-long vacation. So I've been very busy, but I'm glad I'm finally... Like, I have this whole month free, basically. And so I'm just gonna be mostly working on art and animations. And also, like other videos for my other channel. So. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but it honestly looks totally fine. So, okay. Let me remind myself how I shade eyes. <laughs> mm, where there? Sounds really nice. You have been really busy, yes. Life has been a happening. But. Um. Is it in here? Yes. Okay. So the eyes are pretty much. Uh, I could do a little more with those. And now, let's see, I know, I feel like I'm forgetting steps for the eyes, so I will really quickly look at some other art I've done recently, because I'm changing up my eye style. And I forget what I've changed, so... Yes. Just pull up this art that I did recently and take a little cheat look at how I did the eyes. So. There's eye shinies. That. Okay. Alright, so I didn't forget too much. Oh, how pretty. Yes, that's. Did I draw that in the last stream? I think I drew in, in the last stream I did. I worked on that, and I think it ended up being three. No, wait, I didn't work on that one in the last stream. I only got three done then. Alright, blur these a bit. Your eyes are so detailed, I love it. It is something I really like about my art. It makes them pop, because I feel like the most eye-catching thing about a lot of people's styles is the eyes. Like, you can usually tell someone's art style from the eyes. Um, so, yeah, just food for thought. And my eyes are super shiny and detailed. <laughs> Scoot these over 
perfect. Uh, do I want to shade them? No, not shade them. Blur them. Okay. Blur those just a bit. Oh, I feel like I should have a more dramatic shadow. Okay. Just add that really quick. There we go. Super slight, but it adds a lot. Nice. Okay. I mean, it's interesting how different pe people draw different eyes. Yes, spiky eyelashes. Especially- yes. Your eye style is very recognizable. <laughs> Little bean eyes. Though I know you were trying to, like, mess around with that, so... Who knows what'll happen to the magic panda art style. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that could just be my mind playing tricks on me, so... Okay. They did not want any detailed background, so I am just going to... I was, but I've concluded that it was not fun to draw non-bean eyes. I do draw more traditional looking eyes for humans, so we'll see where the time- Yes! Alright, cool! Cool, cool, cool. Alright, how do I want to do this background? What the heck? What is this? What is- what la what layer is this? <laughs> what- hello? No. Ha! You messed up. Oh shoot. That's on a- mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's in a hard to get place. Alright, let me just blend it in. There we go! <laughs> Alright. No, I don't want to do that. I want... Yes, to do that. Okay. Oops, that's meant to be on a different layer. So we soft light that. Going to go into transparent background. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Glow. 
Yes, Minecraft music is literally the best. background. What do I want to do for that? I could do just, whoops, no more shape. I could just do polka dots. Let me see what other brushes Fire Alpaca has. Oh, that's not a brush I need, but hold on. They add like custom brushes in a brush store that you can like download like right off the program and they just added a bookshelf brush I am going to use that <laughs> anyways back to what I was actually looking for yes Ooh, this could be cool this look like? Ooh. Yes, this will be the background and I will blur it. I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what are those for procreate? <laughs> Yeah, the thing is with file packet and stuff is that you can get like custom brushes that people have made. Like you can download them online. But all the ones I've found you have to download um, via DeviantArt and DeviantArt gets blocked on my computer. So I'm kind of restricted to the brush store on P Fire Alpaca. <laughs> Yes, experimenting with brushes is very fun. Okay, let me quickly just double check what information my friend gave me about what they wanted for their commission. say much about the background so I will just send this to them see if they like it and go from there seems like Fire Alpaca has some really sick brushes though it has a lot I used to be kind of like meh about their brush selection but they've added a ton um, so yeah To, oh, hello. Spooky music. Do not want. This is a good one. <laughs> Bit of one of the little little funky ones, but the software just the background. Yeah, it's based off of the reference image they gave me, which was why is why is my watermark like that. Okay, I gotta adjust that. Yeah, it's supposed to be much higher quality. There we go. My gen- the username I generally go by online is Aussie Shark. For some reason, 
my YouTube is different and I don't want to change it. So, a bop all the same. <laughs> yes, the music. Okay, I'm gonna send this off to my friend, see if they like it. ones I'm working on are also humans because for some reason that is like I don't know that's like all I've been getting asked to draw recently I guess <laughs> I mean I do have a trade I'm doing where it is cat characters but today I'm mostly working on humans all right Okay. So the next one we're doing is this one. Which is a winged person, which I absolutely adore winged people. Good song. I've been mainly driving people recently as well. Really into Dungeons and Dragons racing races, yes. It's funny because you said that and meanwhile in a Discord server, my friend group is talking about our next DB session. <laughs> a little spooky. The Do not crash. <laughs> Every time Alpaca Fire Alpaca lags, I always go, don't crash. Just willing it to hold on. Right. Quickly pull up this character's wrath. Drawing tea fleets, yeah. Yes, fire <laughs> back don't crash what, what races do I play currently? My friend group is doing two separate campaigns because um I don't know, that just ended up happening. So one character is just a human, he's named Benson, and he's literally just a guy. Um, but my other character is um Dragonborn because I freaking love dragons and it was my first D&D character and it just had to happen. There's the ref. I could not find it. Alright, yes. Yeah, so they're pupils. Autistic eye character. <laughs> yes. It's, though, in our last session, he did um, lose all his hit points, so... And then our DM ended it, so I don't know how Benson is holding up. <laughs> um, so, we will see this Sunday if Benson made it. 
Um. I play it. No, oh, she <laughs> he traumatized my. It's just a guy character so much. Oh my gosh. That is, that must have been a serious amount of trauma, jeez. One of those in my party I'm currently in DMing, except he's the most troublemaker of the whole group. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so far, um, only my Dragonborn character has been traumatized, um, because she killed a group of goblins, not realizing that they were innocent. Um. <laughs> and so now she's been traumatized, because that was literally her first time trying to help anyone, and like, her whole thing is that she wants to help people. And she killed the goblins, and then she found out that the goblins were innocent, and she was like, Oh, crap. <laughs> Sounds like the first campaign I DM'd. <laughs> it is! And even worse, all my friends keep bringing it up. <laughs> they keep bringing- all my friends' characters keep bringing it up around her. They're like, you remember when you killed all those goblins? Yeah, currently that group, that group of D&D characters, they aren't exactly friends yet. They're still kind of in like that ragtag group of adventurers just kind of got shoved together. So... <laughs> yeah, so Hazel is doing... Hazel, my dragonborn, is doing so, so great slash sarcastic. <laughs> So, jeez, this hair is hard to shade. I'm just gonna make that whole thing a shadow. She's struggling just dead. Just, just a little bit. Oh boy, I have to shade all these feathers, I just realized. love to catch up with you. Yeah, go for it. If you want to ca contact me on Instagram or I also have Discord which I would probably give you my Discord tag through Instagram <laughs> if you have Discord. So, yeah, I'd love to catch up. This is... Oh, I love... This is the Minecraft soundtrack from, like, the festive pack. And that, like, gives me so much nostalgia because I used to play that pack, like, every time in December with my siblings on our Xbox. So it is super nostalgic. <laughs> For some reason, like, there are, like, so few songs for me that, like, trigger nostalgia, but, like, Minecraft, the Minecraft soundtrack is one of those. So. Is that an ad? No! The advertisements. Go away. There we go. 
No. Okay. <laughs> This song too, honestly. We just, we love, we love nostalgic Minecraft music. The Terraria soundtrack. I have not played Terraria, so I haven't heard the music, so I'll have to give it a listen sometime. I have seen people play Terraria, but I have not played Terraria. Alright, I am noticing some colors sneaking out of the lines, so I'm just gonna... Songs was like, ooh, I'll have to try and recognize which one that one's. Reminds me of summertime. Ooh, that's a good point. It does. I know Newt Anakin said that they were coming, but they might have forgotten or they might be busy, so... Oh well. Looks like it's just you and me summer now. <laughs> Until Vanilla comes back. I don't know how to shade clothes, so I kind of just do whatever I want. <laughs> just the two of us. Okay, how do I want to shade this? Oh boy. I barely know how to draw clothes. It's hard! Like, I tried doing research about, like, wrinkles and like folds and like clothes and I like gave up because I was like this is too hard I will just wing it an intruder. <laughs> oh! I, at first I thought you were- I don't know. Hi Snazzy, I did not realize you were here. Until Summer said it's an intruder and I was like, that feels like something she'd say to one of her siblings. And then I looked at the chat again and I noticed Snazzy. <laughs> I 
Why are you... Stop. Stop it. There. We are just shading this, this piece, which is a trade with someone, and then I finished off this commission for a friend of mine. So it's human drawing day. Because the next one I'm doing after this is also a human. Running out of things to talk about. Um. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Someone bring a topic up that I can talk about. <laughs> Dusky play Terraria, and I have four spiders who kill things for me. Oh my gosh, you have an army of spider karmas. It's incredible. You have spider karmas to do your bidding. <laughs> proud of that joke. So pretty. Yes, I'm very proud of this one so far. It's um, technically payment for an adoptable, so when I offered two full bodies, I thought they were gonna give me animal characters, but then they were like, can you draw humans? And I was like, yeah. 
And then they sent me these characters and I was like, I'm not even scared anymore. So, this one and then this character are for, uh, for the same person. So, getting in some good human drawing practice and I get a pretty dragon adopt out of it. <laughs> Why is that? Human practice is always great. Yes. Oh. I keep missing Snazzy's messages, I don't know why. Alright. You go have fun, make pretty characters. Just pick something. Uh, uh, gosh darn it, that made it harder. <laughs> I had not prepared myself to stream. It was just out of the blue, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I meant to ask, would you rather be commissioned to an art design trade this up in the server? All oh, right. Um. Oh, Anthro furry moment. You furries. I don't take furry commissions. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Um. Uh, I don't know. Um. Ah, uh, da 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 da. I almost want to say commission because I am low-key out of money right now and I do kind of need more money um, but if like I don't know if you would rather do a design trade or an art trade I I can do that so I'm good either way but I am broke right now so <laughs> glowy eyes when I did that. Shading feathers. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Just want art by you. <laughs> no, my friends can't be nice and want art from me. This is not allowed. I say as I just asked you to commission me. <laughs> Feather shaving, the 
this isn't even the actual feather part because this is all going to be blurred and it's all going to go away but it looks really pretty right now so I will remember it right. 30% on the fade in and out pen, I will do that for the highlights. Love that, it's so beautiful. It's my little trick cheat pen <laughs> that makes pretty shading for me. <laughs> This isn't very vibe music now, is it? No ads. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, case and class music. Okay, one second. My friend responded to the commission. Yes! Summer, send your spider karmas after the ads. You can hear me probably tip tapping. Time to do normal shading, no more feathers. Shading, shading, shading. Say goodbye, feather shading. You will be missed, but you will return sort shortly. Why does it look so bad quality when I'm when I have it fit the canvas? <laughs> Goodbye for the shading. It'll be back soon. We won't miss it for too long. <laughs> because now we do highlights, so we get to put it back. After I do all this kind of shading. currently multitasking so that's why I keep pausing. <laughs> My friend needs a high quality version of the icon. To business. Another bop. Is 
such an iconic, iconic one too, yes. Actually, going to do a little, 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 little. I don't know why I couldn't get that word out. Little cheat, cheat, and just use my line tool to shade the bullets. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell. Say good, good, good. no idea how I want to shade this thing, so I'm literally just making it up as I go. <laughs> Welcome back, Vanilla. <laughs> Me whenever I shade, for real, though. Do you have any pets? I have. Uh, yeah, I guess that's four. I'm bad at math. Um, I have four. I have a doggo. Uh, I have a snake. And I have two axolotls, which are my newest beans, and I love them very much. <laughs> a noodle. I've had him for a couple years now. Almost four, I think. He's my son. Snake, he is a ball python, and he's a pastel pied morph. Time to bring back the feather shading.
hand so that the sh shading doesn't look as crunchy because for some reason whenever I have it fit the screen it just crunches everything. What's his name? Uh, his name is Pumpkin. Because it's a pie, so his name is a pun because it's pumpkin pied. <laughs> Yay, feather shading, it's back. Alright, now these feathers. makes it a thousand times better. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> okay. Alright, that looks good to me. Time to add the next layer. After I take a sip of water. <laughs> wings make him look so shiny. I love this character. I'm gonna favorite them on Toy House actually because I have not done that yet and I genuinely really like them. Right. <clears throat> shiny layer to make it even more shiny. <laughs> fluffy hair and I don't know how to shade it. the shading looks on the hands or most of the skin so I might actually change the color of the shading for those maybe Of the way you 
shade it gives very nice vibes. <laughs> yeah. Shading is who oh boy. see if I like it later. Uh, let's see. Um, for the feathers, I'm going to do... Yes. Like that. I forgot to shade the hair. <laughs> um, I might honestly. I feel like this song gets very loud. Changing the color of the shading around the skin makes it pop more. Helps a bit, but I just need to adjust the color. So let me undo all that. And on a different layer. Color the shading on top of it. These wings look so good. Yes, I agree, thank you. Looks better. I like that. Yay, fixed it. Okay. <laughs> and I might. Let me just take this. Do. 
Take this color back down to 60, multiply clip. I'm going to also do the same thing. Oh goodness, why are you being so stubborn? Nearing completion. This one is. I feel like this one is taking a lot shorter. Maybe. No, it's taking longer. <laughs> Maybe I'm just having more fun with it. I'm done with these. Uh, I forgot. I have map parts to do, so I will. Well, I guess I might work on a map part or two once these are done being shaded. Because I forgot I have a whip do. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> To make the eyes look pretty. Hold on, I'm going to use the smudge tool really quick and just... Ah, no, stop. Eyes are always super fun, yeah. There we go. Send this one off to be approved. I'm actually going to remove this little bit of shading on the eye because it distracts from it. a bit more vibrant on that side. I keep noticing things that I, like little things that I want to change, so. Alright, give it a good look. Okay, that looks good to me. So I save that. Oops. Sorry, I was just making sure I had everything saved. <laughs> just 
slip in between different ones. All right. Um, for the background, I didn't say I'd make anything fancy, so... Oops. Cool. Oh no, not the phone. Phone, don't die. That's bad. This is looking really cool though. Yes, thank you. I'm going to do that and like make it shiny? Question mark. See if that looks cool at all. Summer, thanks for dropping by. I hope your phone. Hope your phone charges. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for dropping by. Bye. This is looking good. I'm going to send this to the person, see if they like it. Make my watermark just a bit smaller so it's not as jarring. Actually going to make the character glow just so ever so slightly. Um, so that they stand out a bit more against the background. So let me just do that really quick. I'm actually quickly keep changing stuff. I'm like, okay, I think it's done, and then I keep changing things. Yeah, that looks better. Nice. All right, I think that's ready to be saved and sent off for approval. And now we work on the next one. Just pull up some stuff really quick. Let's see. How do I want to shade this character? <laughs> hmm. I'm doing a think. I could use green to match with them. I'll see how green looks. And if I don't like it, I will change it. Alright, where should the light be coming in? Over 
here? On the face or from the back? I realize that all my art normally has it coming in from the left. Uh, you know what, just to change things up, I'll make it go that way. if that's like a thing that a lot of people have with their art where they always make the like the light coming in from one direction because I feel like I always make it come in from the left from the right. Oh! So you're the opposite. I see. an urge to draw fan art for Stray, the video game with the cat. I love that game so much and I've been meaning to draw fan art for it, but I keep forgetting. And I also, I'm also super busy, but who knows? No, but I have- ah, I have map parts to work on. I can't- uh, mm, Conflicted. Do I do what I'm supposed to do and work on map parts or do I draw Stray fan art after this is done? Conflicted. <laughs> the map part is probably more important because I did get the host asking me for an update, so... Hmm... <sighs> no! More ads! Go away! Goodness six. Uh, no. What the heck? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is it playing all the spooky songs? <laughs> okay, we can vibe to this one. <laughs> This one always makes me chuckle. Feels like I should be solving mysteries in a 1920s noir. me every time though. <laughs> I cannot take any song with a recorder seriously. It just, I don't know, it's such like, mm, it's an interest, it's an instrument, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it 
always catches me off guard because I'm always like grooving and then it's just like the recorder. <laughs> Ooh, that's some nice shading. Yeah, I like the green. Just, yeah, I like how all the drawings I've made so far have different vibes. Got orange, blue, and green. Recorder? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> then it's back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do, 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 It does! It's like they had two people, different people, writing the same song. Alright, I might do that thing again. With the different color for the skin. Because it looks better. Right, so full. Normal. Supply 40. Oops. And we're back to chill Minecraft music. Imagining a bard that's also a detective and super serious, but then they cast spells or something. They whip out and play a recorder! <gasps> that is so funny! Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so funny, oh my gosh. D&D &D character idea? <laughs> so much they're so fun yeah I haven't I haven't played a bard yet I think I can't what what are my characters classes I know my dragonborn is ranger Who, what's Benson what's Benson's class ah ads be gone Hold on, I need to pull up my character sheet. I forget what class Benson is. <laughs> class is J 
just a guy. You are so right. Oh, he's a rogue. That's right. I made him a rogue because I wanted him to be sneaky. <laughs> but you are so right. His class is just a guy. We love him all the same. Ranger and Rogue. I've never played Ranger, but they seem funky. I, I picked it because that means that she got good animal handling, and so that meant I had better chances whenever I interact with some sort of creature. So I was kind of biased because one of the reasons I wanted to play D&D &D is because of the creatures. <laughs> My first D&D character was a robot, and he was also just a little guy. Love that. Hooray, I love the animals, yes. This, this piece is definitely going by a lot faster than the previous one. Probably because there's no feathers. <laughs> Minecraft music. Is this from the caves and cliffs? No, it's from the nether. Ooh. This is very funky music. I'm gonna save this and use it for something. The amount of bard times my bard character has killed monstrous enemy by cast vicious mockery and saying the dumbest things was insane and wonderful. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I love that. I remember one of the first sessions I did with my friends, we defeated a werewolf and one of my friends got the killing blow. Um, so the DM was like, describe how you kill them. And they said, I grab my sword and I yell yeet and I throw it in their head. And I was like, okay, we just killed a werewolf and he just yelled yeet at the top of his lungs. What a guy. <laughs> she literally killed a vampire by saying you're- <gasps> Oh, that's funny. Oh my gosh, funny D&D &D times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. 
That's a big old no. Jeez. This is some spooky music now. Is this the same one? It is. Some spooky. figure out how to shade this hair. I don't know why I'm struggling with that so much today. Ah! Go away, ads! They are being so mean to me. Another one of her things was casting entrance splash, but finger got stuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, no. No creepy music. Stop it. She was so wonderfully chaotic. I love her so much. That's awesome. Gosh, I gotta play a bard. Bard sounds so fantastic. <laughs> so... Alright, my next character will have to be a bard. That's so chaotic. Really? Is there anything crazy your characters have done? Not really. Again, we haven't gotten that far because scheduling is hard. Um, well, actually in the fight we did with the werewolf, that was with Benson, and Benson didn't take one point of- one hit point. He just- he just dodged every single attack or it didn't hit him. So... He was just- he was just- existing, honestly. Like, the other two characters, they were getting really, really low, but Benson was just vibing, I guess? <laughs> but I haven't done anything too crazy yet, because we haven't gotten super far into the campaign. Um, so... Oh my gosh, Benson's 
slay. He really did slay. He just fought a werewolf and didn't even get a scratch. See, honestly, <laughs> yes, for real, though. It was so funny because when I was like, when it was like introducing your characters, and I said, My character's name is Benson, everyone at the table laughed. And they left even more when they found out that he was literally just a guy, and I just- it was- it, it, it achieved exactly the effect I wanted it to. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually getting tired. And I'm running out of energy, so I might actually stop streaming once this is done. Because, yeah, I don't know if I'll have energy to keep going. But, yeah. Thank you for stopping by, though. It was really fun talking to you again. Feel free to chat with me anytime. Alright, I'm gonna finish this up, but I'm gonna stop the stream. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Bye! Whoops, and it's the funny song.